Hi. Uh, how to lock and unlock user in Linux? Um, even more importantly, how do you unlock the user in Linux? This tutorial shows several ways of locking and unlocking users in Linux. As you can see, password help shows you many options uh, to unlock and lock the user accounts. First of all, we will display the status of user account. And now you can see that user has password set and uh, is encrypted with SHA 512 so next step we will display the other option the other command change uh, change uh, always uh, lets you to lock account and user account we will display the user status with L flag and you can see that it displays much more information than password uh, L so this is uh, password S excuse me uh, so this is much more uh, informative and much better for administrator um, now we will display the uh, accounts in the system I mean users you can see Red Hat Adrian Lisa Laurie so it is pretty fine and uh, then I will show you how to lock the account with password lock and now the password is locked and we will display the EDC shadow to show you that there are two exclamation marks in the front of the hashed password uh, so now we will unlock the account and um, I will show you that those two exclamation marks are gone so um, another solution is possible also so you can just edit password uh, etc shadow and edit the password uh, by adding an asterisk or another character like exclamation mark in the beginning of the encrypted user password in this uh, shadow file or in uh, etc master password file now we will display uh, a man password uh, to show you options and uh, you have an ex explanation how to use this command and here we have expire flag and unlock and lock uh, flags too so we can use it and uh, you have a description how to use it and what it's exactly doing uh, yeah the whole file okay quit then we will display the man ch change and yeah change a change age it's um option to change the expire date of the account and also this option gives us the possibility to lock the account to lock the account in the system by setting an expire expiration date right so here we go and we will change the uh, expiry expiration date by setting e flag and how it is calculated it was just described uh, explained that in the man uh, that date plus 180 dates uh, days and then uh, it calculates the number of days from the uh, 1st January of 1970 right I will explain it later now uh, we can display the shadow once again to show you that there are 18,261 days from the 1st January of 1970 right so it counts how many days uh, passed from this uh, exact date now uh, we will 
use the user mode right um we can use user mode to lock the account um and here you have the option and to lock the account and also it's user mode lets you to lock account and set the expiry date it's like password plus change in one two in one so we can lock the user account now we can display the etc shadow you have one explanation mark in the beginning of the password i mean the encrypted password and this is uh, how it uh, change mm, the mm, password so um uh why and and now that you can see with password as that the password is locked and if you add the uh, asterisk or exclamation mark in the beginning of encrypted password it is uh i mean the most attempts to access the password will not be possible because it is not possible to sensible decrypt the modified password now we will see that i want to set an expiry date for user mode and okay you can see it oh uh, and user mode you so i'm going to unlock the user the user account and the password by setting the january 2nd 1970 for this account to show you that there is no exclamation mark in the beginning of the encrypted password right for user adrian and uh the number one in the in the end of this file it's uh, one day from first january because we set the second of january uh, so there is only one day passed right so this is explained now um uh, okay uh, we will display change right help to show the expiry date here this is the same way like in user mode but we a little bit different because we set here uh numbers of date uh, of days uh, from the january 1st 1970 so this the i mean the effect is the same like in previous uh, option like in user mode expiry date and mm, the effect is identical right so and i also displayed how many days uh i mean the when the password for this user was changed so it counts how many days uh from first uh, january 1970s uh, are gone okay we will display the user account and the status and you can see january 2nd 1970 right it's fine because i already set it up okay see this 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 is very important now i will show you something okay if i will use double apostrophe the expiry date will be removed and you can see that account never expires right and now i will show you something 
interesting. I will change the expiry date. Okay. 1990. Okay, I'm, uh, my mistake. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can change this flag to locked account. Now we will display it. It's January 1st, 1990. And now change E1. Not minus one. One, 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 one should be one. Yep, yeah. one number, user number, user name, and now you can see that the date back to January second, nineteen seventy. So this option let us uh, to back and minus one sets the expiry to never. Right, so we can reset by this flag by setting minus one, and we can set the ex expiration date to never. Now we will log the account with password. We will display the status of the user's account. You can see the password is locked. We will display the HL and uh, there is no information in case of change that the password is locked. We have no information. But we, you must use password as to see the, I mean, the status that the password is locked. Now we will use the User mode L to lock the account once again. And here we go. You don't see any information that the password is locked. Right? And status shows us that the password is locked. Now I will unlock the account. Okay. But user mode unlock. User mode unlock will unlock the account, and if you will display the content of shadow file, you will see that uh, there is an exclamation mark in the beginning. Right. I will show you that there is an exclamation mark in the beginning, right? This is how the password is locked uh, in this case. And now I will unlock the account and display the status in ETC Shadow. And yeah, there is no exclamation mark, so password is not locked. I will show the status. Yes, password is set. SHA SH, uh, 512 crypt. It is encrypted. So that is fine. And at the end, I displayed that everything is the same as it was in the beginning before I made every change. So, right now, I will see the passwords. I will lock, uh, lock L, it's locked, and now see the status password is locked. Change password, yes, user mod cat or shadow password. User mod unlocked, and the same, the password is unlocked, right? So we can lock to, with one uh, command and unlock with the second one command, and 
this is how it works and yes and everything is set as it was in the beginning so thank you very much and have a nice day bye